<clears throat> All right, got another video for you. Um, name this too. <laughs> What's up guys? It's been a minute since I posted a video. <coughs> I mean a minute. Uh, probably been, well I just just got through uploading my daughter's graduation which actually happened at the uh, end of May. And here we are about oh 20th, 21st, I forget the date, uh, of July. So <coughs> I know I've got a few messages asking Hey, what happened to you? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so I figured I would address some. Um, the last video that I posted, or the last couple of videos that I posted, uh, if you remember me talking about uh, moving to Texas. I've been over here in Texas since January. Matter of fact, the last few videos of me kayak fishing and things have been uh, <clears throat> solely... My dog's losing it. Have been solely uh, kayak fishing videos. Trying to get my thoughts together and uh i was kind of sitting uh bored a few minutes ago got a headache from work all day staring at a computer we're in the middle of this corona crap so let me back up so back in march my company went remote my department went remote <clears throat> and instead of staying in texas uh, i decided it would be best if i went back home in mississippi to work so I did so from March uh, somewhere mid late March whenever that was till uh, I guess into May kind of stayed quarantined at the house working computer working from the computer office at the, at the old house in Mississippi but we were destined to move because um, I got a job transfer over here to uh, Houston so Anyway, so that was going to happen one way or the other. Well, when we found out school was out, they decided to uh, let graduation go. My daughter officially graduated high school. And um, so after that, we kind of pulled the pin and said, all right, let's go ahead and, and get moved. Even in, in the midst of all this you know, pandemic stupidity that's going on around us, um, we needed to move. We had to get this over with. Because <clears throat> how the thing works is basically um, my target start date or my start date was like January 1. And um, I have to be completed with my transition before uh, 12 months is up. So anyway, all that being said, so we started the process. Put our house up for sale. Um, <clears throat> started the whole transition. This COVID 19 stuff has really just jacked life up added so much stress so on top of all that my company decides that it's going to go through uh and before i say this just know that i've been with them for uh 12 going on 13 years now taking well care of us even before i was actually working directly for them they took care of me and uh fed my family uh, with a with a great job respectable company so they decided they're going to go through this this entire transformation process well that was decided back <clears throat> late 2019 uh, after i had accepted this job so thinking that i wouldn't really be affected by it because i'm a new transfer uh well because of covid uh i guess because of covid maybe i just misunderstood but now i am part of it so added stress i have to basically reapply for my job so we uh yeah pardon my voice i don't know what's going on with me I've just been <coughs> hoarse and raspy lately um not running a fever i don't have covid <laughs> but anyway uh so 
my daughter graduated. Uh, like a week later was both my daughter's birthdays. Uh, that was the first week of June. So we had their birthday parties. And literally, uh, June the 8th was my oldest daughter's birthday. So June the 9th, we actually had the movers come and pack us up and leave. Left a few days later, headed over here, had my daughter's car shipped. Ooh, car. So, my blue truck, uh, for those of you who may remember it, I traded my blue truck for my daughter a car. I don't know if that was a great idea because I've needed my truck ever since. But, neither here nor there. So, get my daughter a car. She graduated. My youngest daughter comes with us. My oldest daughter stayed back in Hattiesburg. Um, I'm going to finish college in February. So we get moved and we come to, uh, I'm in the backyard, so, <clears throat> but this nice subdivision, um, it's crazy. Wasn't here two, three weeks and um, thought I was going to have to kill somebody. Uh, just, just lost it. Neighbor was just acting silly, but... I digress so we're here still quarantined basically working from home uh, wife we decided my wife wasn't gonna go back to work during all this stuff uh, maybe never that's my plan I don't like her working um, so we're here now <clears throat> in the midst of all this um, my wife's grandfather passed away mr. Gerald uh, very very sad and uh, he had uh, he had cancer. I did uh, they did the chemo and actually said the chemo worked. He had a good report, but he still had to recover from the chemo, and he just he never recovered. Uh, so sad, so sad to get such a good report, and then uh, literally I think it was like within the week he had passed away. <clears throat> so we had to go and go back to Louisiana and, and uh, bury Mr. Gerald so come back my wife is actually there now um because you know they just needing every once in a while needing to, someone to stay with miss helen her grandmother so i don't know what am i forgetting i got my jeep out of the shop that's an update um got my boat over got a little boat time in um yesterday oh excuse me <laughs> Today's Tuesday. That would have been uh, Sunday. Sunday, we got to take the boat out and um, try it out. You can see, going down the side of my house. Let me get you a frontal view. Have these amazing sunsets every afternoon. I love them. There's my daughter's Camry. Guess I better get the garbage can in. Best view I can give you of the house. Beautiful home. Um, <clears throat> here in, we're actually in Richmond, Texas. But anyway, let me see if the door's unlocked give you a quick tour my wife of murder that's the mess so we opted for less property and uh Trixie <laughs> the dog's losing it it's my office it's still kind of organizing um a few guitars out. Yeah. It's cool to have the sunset. <clears throat> so it's hard to tell. There's a monitor right there. It's glared and here's crazy. My desk is a mess. Got this cool setup. I've got my printer there. Got my vinyl machine where it slides out. Slide it back in. It's just stuck with. It went through yet. 
That used to be the backdrop in my living room at the old house, but now it is in my office. Got my amps. Okay, hush. All stainless steel. It's really nice. Hey, that's me. We had a hard time finding something to fit in this space right here. I built that shelf for a specific spot in my old house. Never thought I'd be able to use it, but we brought it anyway. I thought, well, what the heck? I can modify it if we need it. If not, I'll just scrap it. And it turns out it fits absolutely perfect in that spot right there. So we hung our clock up that way. If you remember that from our old house, um, it was in the kitchen. Now, yeah, pardon the cushions. There's a billion pillows in here. <clears throat> we bought these couches this was an episode so the the huge couch the huge sectional we had in the old house I thought it would fit and it kind of did um, <clears throat> but it was the wrong way <laughs> so the little angle piece was here and it went over and came up this way but this portion touched the wall that side was, you just about couldn't open the door. So we ended up selling it and um, purchasing these couches, uh, which we love. They're, they're huge. They're really, really wide, uh, really deep that way, uh, even deeper than the couch we had. So we've been, you know, we've been kind of going through and uh, found like an end table used. We found this at... Uh, we looked all over the place at all sorts of furniture places and we could not find anything to fit width wise. We were actually at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. And this was sitting there. Literally, um, it's like two, uh, a little less than two inches short on each side. It looks pretty good. Let me get a better view back here. Yeah, there you go get you an idea <sighs> really nice though eh? um, bedrooms have these little arches or my bedroom does anyway again my wife would kill me if she knew that I was videoing this great size rooms um, let me see back out you got the peloton in here i actually set that peloton in my office but i'm usually working when she wants to get on it so it didn't work out there we go nice bathroom big tub that no one will probably ever use and my favorite part about it the big glass door closet closet <laughs> it's a walk in, but I got things in there I don't want to show. So, yeah, nice place there. <clears throat> we still have a lot that we haven't actually set up. Um, hallway, actually got the attic entrance or space is inside this house rather than like the other one out in the garage oh we had our we had our old bedroom furniture refinished for Sarah and kind of did a um, that rustic white look turned out really good some of it we actually added in here oh we do that yeah a record player I'm a little jealous this is Alana's room, even though she doesn't technically live with us anymore. She's in college, but she'll always have a bed in my house. Another bathroom. That's pretty much the tool. Oh, the garage. Let's check the garage out before all the fun happens. Video's coming soon. Putting my Raymarine. Um, this looks awful. It looks way worse than it is, technically. 
Um, all this stuff here is really clean, sitting on the table. Brought this battery in, small battery, and set it in this cardboard so not to be on my, um, my kitchen table. So I'm working on, I took the uh, Ray Marine unit. off of my boat. Well, I have to, because the boat and the camper is in storage. So, I had to take it off, couldn't leave it there, or else someone would steal it. So, uh, since it's off, and I, and I save all my waypoints and stuff, uh, even inshore, back home, so what I did was I purchased another uh, which is even smaller than the one that I have on my boat, but another transducer with a cable and another base mount for it. And um, this style has the, let me show you here, this style has this thing. It's like this is on the unit itself and you just thread it on that base. It's pretty sturdy and it uh, it's really, really, you loosen that up and move it around angle it or whatever it should be that way anyway i don't want to talk about it all now let me get some more parts in and we'll be adding it to uh, the bona fide fleet of kayaks but i'm not going to like screw it down to the bona fide i'm going to uh i've got a plan that i hope works uh, shut this door so my garage <clears throat> is nasty no it's not nasty it's just full it's full of stuff uh, I had a 20 by 24 shop at my last house uh, previous to that house I had a 20 by 20 shop that burned down so I lost most of my stuff so when we moved to the previous house we were only there for two years I had, uh, you know, regathered tools, repurchased things that I lost, generators and whatnot. Um, so I, I had accumulated a lot of stuff. And before we moved, I actually, um, I actually had gotten rid of a lot. But uh, still, I now have a ton of stuff uh, in here. So I, I know you probably can't tell. Uh, but I took the bunks off my kayak. My daughter coming over here shouldn't have any friends, so she's wanting to spend more time with us. So we went kayaking week before last weekend before, and um, I bought an inflatable just as a backup, but it wasn't good enough. But I bought this Ascend 9R Sport for her for my daughter. She's 17. This thing, I think I can get on this thing. Uh, it's 10 foot or 9 foot maybe maybe that's what the 9 is um, but it's short uh, mine is uh, 127 the brown one is actually hanging off the back back there it's 13 foot long uh, little purple ones but anyway so to be able to fit all three of them on there I took the bunks off and put some padding down on the crossbars and that's what my kayak's sitting on at the moment so we'll try that out <clears throat> if nothing else, um, I'm actually was thinking about like putting some decking across here. I'm definitely going to rework my my hoops here. Um, do something a little different there, but I learned the hard way that I've I'm in love with this, so I have to keep it. Um, but I'm wanting to convert this to like a bolt on, bolt off. Um, that way, if I needed to haul something like the generator or something with my with my Jeep, I could use this as a trailer. Um, put a little wood deck on it. It's not very big, it's not like it'd be a big deal, but more to come with that. Um, got the Jeep out of the shop. Um, cost me a fortune. And now, <laughs> come Friday, I think, um, depending on if the guy gets back with me, I'm gonna put it back in the shop uh, to another shop. So, got the AC fixed. 
uh, got it out something broke inside the HVAC box so now you can't change the the uh, vents and it's not blowing very hard uh, I kind of jerry-rigged it made it work but it's not a hundred percent so got to do something there um, and got my rear diff fixed they rebuilt my rear diff put some new bearings in it uh, it's no longer clacking and clattering when I <clears throat> drive a long distance and then go to turn so that's fixed um, they supposedly put new u-joints in my rear um, drive shaft but I still kind of hear something maybe it's the front like I told them originally um, and my steering I got the death wobble now and I've never had it before so I definitely got to address all that stuff so I'm gonna put it back in the shop I hope it doesn't cost me uh, an arm and a leg and I'm sure it will it always does but this is my daily driver now I got rid of my truck so I've got to get it fixed I got to get it tip-top shape um, I wouldn't say it was a mall crawler uh, although I call it that sometimes jokingly um, but I do I mean I do a little off-road I drive off in the beach I drive through a mud hole every now and then when I'm pulling my kayaks or whatever so I want to get it right <clears throat> We're, uh, we're looking at getting rid of the diesel, unfortunately, because it will not fit in this garage. And as good as my Jeep looks in the garage, it can't stay here. Uh, we're, we're just, this is a transition period, and um, the Jeep just, it's out of the way here where she can come and go. But the truck doesn't fit in here. It's too long. I can pull it all the way forward until it's about to hit the wall. It doesn't seem that big. And you can shut the door, but it's an inch from the bumper. So pulling it as far forward as you possibly can, you're that close. So I don't like that. That's too too close for her. Mandy will be done destroyed something. Um, so like I said, so we got the boat in storage, got the camper in storage. We were going to get rid of the camper, uh, but now it kind of appears that we may wait. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure yet. Uh, we may trade it in on something smaller. Uh, we're looking at trading the truck in on a uh, like a four a, a Toyota 4Runner, like a TRD Pro or something like that. They have a tow capacity of 5,000 pounds, and even though my camper is under that, it's like 47, it's really close to it. So I'm um, I'm considering getting the camper clean. We got it for sale right now, but we've decided that we think we want to keep it. So we may take and then go trade it in on a, on a newer one too, but something shorter, you know, instead of a 26 footer, maybe a 20 footer or less. There was a there was a couple we were looking at when we bought that one um, that were shorter than 26 foot. We just went for the creature comfort. Um, we've agreed that the creature comforts is not 100% needed anymore. We bought that camper to come over here <laughs> to MD Henderson and stay a week or weeks at a time if needed. Um, we've only had to do it uh, once since we bought it and um, now we live here so that purpose is gone we literally would only use it for camping now um, I got a generator I mean the generator I have can run it the one I have now <clears throat> but I mean if we wanted to boondock somewhere we could um, but with the uh, forerunner I just think it would be a little cumbersome to haul but anyway more to come there not done with the videos uh, just all this corona stuff and all the stress and everything I'm stressed out I'm maxed out uh, I wish I weren't but I am so just trying to get a grip on life and see where the future is going things are crazy right now and I don't know what tomorrow holds um, but definitely will continue to make videos uh, to, to just log life and and show what it's all about and um, I know it's been whew, four months, March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, it's been almost four months since I've put a video out. So I just wanted to update everybody. Um, I got to get with DJ that was at the campground. Still a friend. Just haven't had time to stop and uh, go visit. Um, he bought a truck. and I uh, definitely want to link up. <coughs> and uh, 
William Lee, I've uh, been chatting more with him. He had COVID and is recovering from it. So if you're watching this, Will, um, man, glad you're feeling better. Uh, and, and he made a post that he got on the water this past weekend. So that was good. He's got his strength back. Um, so I don't know, just all sorts of stuff. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think that's about it. That's all I can think of at the moment. I'm sure I forgot something. Um, got another MD Anderson trip to, to force my wife into, uh, this coming, well, any day now. Can't get her to go. She's all this other crap. She doesn't want to go to any doctors with all the Corona stuff. But I don't know. I'm sure you can tell the stress in my voice. Um, I'm just spent. It's just a lot. Um, my daughter is stressed out. We're trying to link up with uh, some local churches or something that's doing like online meet and greets with the kids to give her some, uh, I say kids, teen, you know, older teenagers, <clears throat> to give her some uh, some social time. I mean, I, I stay on conference calls and crap all day at work. So it's like I get social time. I really don't mind it, you know, not having not being able to not having to talk let me say that so i kind of like the chill time um but in the end i, I found myself uh talking to guys ear off the other day at uh, at the tackle shop we just got to talking and, and neither one of us wanted to stop because we've been so secluded uh, i read an article on how you know the kids are being affected um matter of fact i gotta sign into something in a minute but um how the kids are being affected by all this seclusion and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to tell you, it's not the kids anymore. It's all of us. I'm I'm stressed. I'm stressed to the max. So what else? What else? I think that's it. I'm rambling now. So let me let you guys off of here. <laughs> Fishing videos coming soon. Kayak rigging. Just life in general. Peace out.